is I start finding stuff and then I like, I don't know, my brain goes into some different mode of like, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that. So today we are off to another Goodwill, but first I need to make a stop at my space at the Antique Mall where I need to load up just a few more things and get them off of the porch, get them into the booth so they have a chance to sell. And I'm going to take you along and hopefully kind of give you an idea of if you are visiting the Antique Mall of America here in Las Vegas that you can find your way to my booth. So first that and then to Goodwill. All right, let's go. So as you come in the front door, you go two aisles over, look for this really cute little booth here on the end, and voila, this is one of my spaces. This is my smaller space, and uh, this is all the stuff I'm bringing in right now that I have to move things around and find room for. I have like zero wall space in here, so that makes it a little bit challenging. But I'll show you kind of the before that I got going. This is where I tend to bring like bigger stuff, multiple quantity. I mean, I could bring that home and list it, but you gotta have some small stuff. But pretty much it's all my, I don't know. I'm looking and going like, why is some of this down here as opposed to listing it? I don't know. Uh, just because I haven't brought it home. Just because I haven't been able to list for a while. I got this curio. I've got some EAPG. I tend to bring the EAPG down here because I want the collector to have their hands on and be able to tell for themselves if it's reproduction or not. Uh, this is the Westward Ho, which is heavily reproduced. So... That just it just makes it easier for them to to purchase it here and like some bigger pieces you know you guys have all been asking to see my booth so here it is i gotta replace the light. i actually have a light bulb uh i just keep forgetting to bring it and we got some just a lot of mishmash over here Ooh. Let's see, it's always nice to see empty spots. That means something sold. So I'm going to move things around, change it up a little bit, and I'll uh, let you know what I end up with in just a moment. Okie dokie. I spent about 15 minutes. It's not exactly how I want it, but key was to get everything in here so I've got some new items on the shelf got it all fixed up here clean some stuff up there <laughs> my purse I do not want to forget my purse added like the little bunny on the floor here added this little thing but and I added I added a lamp up there too and got it plugged in so hopefully I got this mishmash in front that I'm not super happy about, but for now, at least the stuff is for sale and I can worry about it the next time I come in. So now, oh yeah, and it looks like I sold the lion head and now I've got a hanging pheasant up there. So lion head sold of my awesome animals. Um, so now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to take these items up, which are now going to go into my clearance booth. So let's go. Getting to my upstairs booth is a little trickier. I'm kind of back. There's the back wall. There's some doors over this way. Woo, naked mannequin. Um, and I'm in this corner right here. So if you find this booth here, this is my booth. And it's a pretty big mishmash of stuff. This is my clearance booth. Everything in this booth is 50% off. And that's because it's already been full price down at the bottom booth. And then I bring it up here at 50% off to try and get it moved here. Straighten things up a little bit. Um, and like I've got glass, I've got pottery, I've got primitives, I've got you name it up here. I'm looking, I have room for more. I'm gonna have to bring more stuff up here. 
I just brought all of my white wicker that was downstairs. It's been downstairs for almost a year, so time to bring it up here. This used to be a whole wall. Some of you might remember previous videos where these were shelves, and I brought those shelves home. <laughs> Uh, and now I'm using this for artwork because I have a ton of artwork that needs to sell. So, got a few books. I brought this little cabinet. This used to be down in the downstairs booth. It is now in this booth. Got a couple little Christmas things. Some more glass. It's just really, this is my variety booth here. Just stuff. It's just a lot of stuff. I can't believe this lady has not sold. She is so awesome. So I'm hoping up here in the half price booth, she will find her new home. So that's it. I am now gonna go head over to Goodwill because they're open till eight. And I love that they're open till eight. Um, oh, I think. Did I sell something in there? I had another set of dishes in there that are not there anymore. I might have brought them home knowing me. Okay, with that, I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna go over to Goodwill and see what I can find. And now we are at Goodwill and I just, I am just digging there being open till eight o'clock now. I know I sound like a broken record. I keep saying that, but I'm super happy about it because I mean, it's hot, it's hot here. So when they close at seven, you gotta get out, you know, by like five o'clock to go to it. And that is the hottest part of the day, believe it or not. So that one hour makes all the difference in the world for kind of not being out in this ridiculous heat. <laughs> so we're gonna go in, we're gonna see what we can find. And uh, I, uh, again, I always say this, but I kind of do it to hear myself say it out loud, hold myself accountable because you guys will tell me in the comments if I mess it up, but I need to be picky. I need to stick to my $20 bill target. I really, really do. Um, because I'm overflowing at the booth, as you saw, and I'm overflowing at home and I'm, and I'm, I'm not getting stuff listed on eBay as quickly as, well, I'm, in the last couple of weeks, not at all. That's coming soon. I do have a plan, um, but it's not in place yet. So, discipline, discipline, gonna do it. All right, hold me to it. Call me out in the comments if I don't do it. Say, Danny, what were you, why are you buying that, okay? Also, if you happen to leave the videos early, you are missing out on the complete recap that I do at the end. I share, if I didn't know what the item exactly was when I bought it, I've done my research by the time you get to the end and I recap what the item is, how much I paid for it, and how much it goes for on eBay. And I say value because I am researching sold comps. I don't go by just what's listed. I go by sold comps. And if there's no sold comps, I give you my educated estimate based on my 20 plus years experience doing this. So be sure you stay to the end. All right, let's get in there. Stuff's awaiting. All right, let's go in and see what we can find. Oh, they got a big giant Santa inside. Holy moly. All right, I am not starting with Christmas. That's what's on the first aisle. So I skipped the first aisle. And I'm kinda going to the other stuff first. I'll come back to Christmas, but I just don't wanna start there. Let's see, what are you? These are, oh, they're like for like medals or trophies or something. Oh, here's another one of these little Inkalay jewelry boxes. This one's kind of getting yellowed. I don't know if you can get that out when it's starting to yellow like that. I do like it though, it's four bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. 
And I'm going to leave this that snail. And I'm going to look at this stopper. Looking to see if it has a name on it or anything. It does not. It does not. Okay. I don't know why this is here. It's hiding everything. It's um it's got a little piece inside. Don't know how I feel about that. I like the giraffes. They have their ears. Oh, but they're $12.99. Okay, we're gonna leave the giraffes too, $12.99. We have Dead Men Tell No Tales that doesn't open. It doesn't open, all right. Apparently they still don't tell tales because you can't open it. This is $8. Pretty beat up, splitting. The wood in Las Vegas does that a lot. It dries out and splits. How about a little glass elephant? He's got his tusks. Ah, uh, you're saying, but Danny, he's not $20. But you know what? The other thing is he's an easy flip. So he might not be $20, but he's an easy, quick, profit so I am gonna get him for $3.99 all right these guys are very cute but they're very modern but they're very cute I know someone was um, commenting and forgive me I don't remember the name I'm um, saying but you can get that little cute stuff that's not worth $20 and bundle it and I could I could absolutely do that um, and if I needed things to sell, I would do that, but I'm honestly really, really behind in getting things processed through right now. So that is why I'm not picking up those things right now. I just don't need the bundles. But yeah, that's a really good idea. Bundles are great. You'll see me do that. I'll, I'll often put, I, I do it with glassware a lot. I'll put a bunch of stuff, you know, a bunch of glasses together to make it worthwhile to do it. It's kind of pretty. It's no mark. It's pretty. I don't need it though. Oh, it's got a religious figure on it. I was trying to figure out what that was on there. All right. I don't really need any more little fake succulents right now. <gasps> oh, look, it's a Bob Ross Chia Pet. Okay, we don't need him. I'm sure somebody needs him though. And I don't see anything exciting in here except maybe this glass bottle. It's kind of cool. It doesn't, so when I picked it up, it doesn't have the weight that I would want it to have for like a mid-century glass. So a lot of the glass, you can tell by the weight, that's very lightweight. It's a cheaper glass. So that is why I'm leaving it behind. And we're over in the metals. This is kind of a cool tin. Heinz's Pearls from Chineco, but they are asking 10 bucks for it, so we will leave that one behind and look for something else, like maybe a little brass butterfly on a piece of lava rock. Hmm, how do I feel about you? I don't know how I feel. He's very brutalist. He's got he's got a nice look to him. You know what? I know, I know. He might not be worth 20. We'll see. He might be though. So we're gonna pick him up. Alrighty. They are announcing that it's green tags are 50% off and that it's double discount day for seniors. But 
I am six months away from getting that deal. All right, I see some potentially interesting things over here in the dishware. Oh, poor little guy, he's really beat up. Wow, they got like a whole tub of dishes. I always have to be nosy. They are, I can't even read who that is. Made in Poland. Hmm, all right. Maybe I can read that one a little better. Hmm, something O-line, uh, Orlina, O-line. I don't know. And they are asking 70 bucks for the set. Oh, it's an interesting looking platter. And it is signed. Hmm. It's got a nice look at now this is something I would not want to ship I would buy this for the booth and especially since it's only two dollars because it's 50% off I think I will pick it up and take a chance this is a neat looking piece down here too it's like majolica almost but it looks like it is Ziegler family it looks like it's a hobbyist piece oh no Okay, as I'm crawling along the bottom here, let's check this out. I do believe that is stained on there and not actually the color of the glass. And again, the feel of it is a very cheap feel. All right. Let's see what else is in the plates. I don't see anything exciting. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, look at all the Pepsi glasses. Speedy Gonzales. These are 1973. They got Porky, Speedy, lots of Daffy Duck, and Cool Cat. And they are $5 each. So. Could even be a reseller's like stock that didn't sell. Arizona, okay. Ooh, what are you guys? The Leaning Bellini. Ooh, they're eight dollars each. My my my. What are you? Bombay. Oh, empty box. Ooh, those are fun. Kind of like circus pinwheel colors. Four dollars each though. You know what, and I have plenty of glasses right now, so those are not irresistible at that price. Had they been a little cheaper, they might have been irresistible to me. This is almost one of my crooked stems, but it's not quite the same. It's not quite what I need. All right. See. Oh, I see a couple of black stems back there I'm going to grab. But I'm going to look and see. This is a cut to clear piece for $4. Hmm. This is a nice piece of glass. This is a check cut to clear. I think I'm going to pick this up for $4. Okay, okay, now we are in the coffee mugs. It's one of those <laughs> half cup. All is fun. Oh, your mugs are great sellers because when all else fails, you can give a mug as a gift. Oh, this is um, 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 um. Oh gosh, there's a. I know it's Taylor and Taylor. There's a name for these mugs, but anyway, it's um, it's some naughty elephants, I do believe. We're gonna get that for $1.99. Oh, let's crouch down here. Oh, oh, he's only 99 cents. You know I can't leave that behind. Okay, we're gonna get this birdie. But then we're gonna look and see 
What else we can find? That looks like the Bremen Town musicians. <laughs> Little stacked guys. Oh, he's cute. Little spotted puppy. Ooh, maybe $2 though, because he's half price. All right, I'm gonna pick him up for $2. I see a Girl Scouts mug. It's $3.99. They're made to look like Starbucks mugs. I don't know what the resale is on those. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm sure it's not anything earth shattering. So I just got my two little mugs. And we're gonna take those and go. All right, looking up like the kitchen wares. These have scriptures on them. You know how I like my little dishes with scriptures. Uh, one of them's got a big chip though, and you really need the set of four, so I will be leaving those, but I'm not gonna leave these strawberry shakers. Gosh, they do want $3 each though. So that'd be $6, but Jordan gets first dibs at these because she does her kitchen in strawberries, and I can afford to get her $6 shakers for her kitchen. Are cute. Made in New Zealand. Oh, really? For $4.99 though. Hmm. I'm gonna pass and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look at the little cardinal shakers for $3.99. I know they're modern, but they are cardinals. So I will be picking those up. That's a cute little pepper scoop. A little chili pepper. Oh, there's all kinds. Oh, somebody must have given up their chili pepper collection because there's chili pepper galore on the shelf. Canisters. Ooh, the littlest one is $7.99. Okay, we're not even going to look at the bigger ones. Not even going to look. Oh, there's that brand. I just discovered that this is a good brand. I don't know what one single bowl will do, but we're gonna find out. It's $4. This guy's cute, but he's not gonna be a $20 bill, which I'm really, I am. I'm really, really trying to think about that. Modeling clay. Do you know who really, really loves mod model oops, <laughs> modeling clay? That would be one little girl that I have at home who I'm going to get her some modeling. Oh, look, it's even got a turtle to make on the back. All right, I'm getting that for Rachel. All right, I'm, I feel myself wavering off of my $20 rule. I, it kind of happens as I start finding stuff, and then I like, I don't know, my brain goes into some different mode of like, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that. I was thinking of these for my mushroom project, but they've got writing on the top. So they would not, they would not be good. Okay, we're gonna move along. I'll be honest, I'm tempted. I really, really do love those roosters right there. I don't know what movie these are from. What movie are they from? These are all taped together, so I'm not even sure they'd come apart without damage. Oh look, there's a little piggy in there too. And then there's a, is this like Moana? Is that like here's another character? I don't know these characters. I don't need them. I don't. I don't need them. Boy, I really like those roosters. Though. I really like them. Now they got their Easter mishmash. All other holidays kind of moved back here. Christmas has taken over the front of the store in a very big way. Handwriting without tears. Huh. I have a feeling homeschooling stuff is going to be a big deal this next school year. Just something to think about. I don't know what this stuff is. It's mesh. Mesh. And there's some yellow and there's some gray. I don't know what you would do with that. So I'm going to leave it. All right, I'm looking at the lamps, and there it is. Ugh. Tell me I don't need it. I don't, I don't need a seahorse lamp. Ugh. I don't need it. I'm sure it's super expensive. I don't even see a price on him. Uh, he's brand new. He's a Destinations by Reg 
Gina Andrew. Oh, how much are you? How much? Oh my God. I can't even get him out of there. Stand by. Okay, I found the price. He's $34.99, which makes it a lot easier to leave behind. All right, it is time to hit. This is like one of like four sections. There's another section way over there. There's two whole shelves here. There's a lot of Christmas. And uh, I'm just looking for, <laughs> I'm just looking for things that are just different. Like a Maui Christmas blanket. If this, there's a certain brand that makes these in these cute little things that is a very expensive brand, I know, because they make a guinea pig one that I have been waiting to find one at less than $35. Um, so I'm gonna take a peek and see if I can find the tag and see if this is that brand. It's not. This is a holiday time from Walmart, so it's it's cute and it's very soft too be a nice little fleece. Okay. Nothing of note here. Mostly like lights and tree decor. Oh yeah. Then there's these sections that have all the hanging stuff. Oh my goodness. So many baggies. So many baggies. Those are cute little acrylic those aren't Christmas, those are just acrylic napkin holders. Napkin, yeah, napkin holders. Mmm, so much stuff. Oh. oh, there's just so much Christmas stuff. See, they were stockpiling all this stuff for a very long time in the back and then all the stores brought it all out. Oh my goodness. Mmm, so much stuff. All right, nothing on this side. All right, this is a really cute Santa cookie jar. It's by Hallmark, it's $9.99. Then we got all these boxed mugs. Oh, I see gnomes. Gnomes are just always a hit. But they're $4.99. <sighs> they're $4.99. Nope, 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 nope. Can't pay five bucks for a $15 mug. Just, I know that sounds crazy, but you got costs in there too. You got costs. So it's not, it's not $10 of profit. Out of that $10 comes your fees and you gotta pay taxes on your profits. Ooh, a lot of people forget about that. Um, ooh, my bad. Didn't see that one. Um, you're supposed to be paying taxes on those profits anyway. I know there's a lot of talk about that right now. That ooh, I like that. You know that the 1099s are coming down to a $600 is when you're going to get them. But honestly. You should have been claiming if you're making i mean i know it doesn't seem like a lot of money but it actually works to your advantage if you have a job because now you have something that you can take deductions on and maybe even offset your full-time income i mean that's a whole nother topic for another day actually i've done that topic on many of my monday lives if you want to go and dig into how that all works um but the point is you have to watch your margins. Those are... <laughs> I'm looking at more gnomes, but there's no prices on them. Um, you gotta watch your margins, bottom line. Because it's not all profit. There. That was the point. Okay. I'm telling you, the Christmas just keeps going and going and going. And then... There is a Pampered Chef 9 inch square baker for $7.99. I may look this one up. I'm gonna set it, set it in my cart for the moment and look it up because it even comes with the recipe and instruction book. So that might be a good purchase. We will see.
All right. I'm not seeing anything else exciting. Mm. Oh, he's really cute. Actually, he's really cute. Well, see, he's only 99 cents. I can tune it. You can make a planter out of him. He's super cute. I'm gonna get him. All right. Little houses, little bridges. Come out, come out, glass babies, wherever you are. I know you're hiding here somewhere. Ooh, that's pretty. It's all needlepoint. It's $9.99. Hmm, it's a little pushed in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it because I'm just not needing to deal with something that big right now. It's not gonna be a quick, a quick sell. So, LED wax tree set. Well, oh, I don't see anything else we can't live without here. Okay, this is pretty stinking cute. Catnip, fish, they're singing little Christmas carols. It does something, it's electronic. It's got a, it's got an on off switch. Maybe lights? I don't know. But that's something I am gonna pick up for five bucks. More village stuff. More Christmas village stuff. Always more Christmas village stuff. How about the Marching Penguins? Musical animation. It looks like a button is missing there. All right. Really nothing like real vintage-y, which is what I'm really looking for. I mean, I do I do like these guys. I picked up that other topiary one the other day. This one's $3.99. Mm, I might pick him up too. They'll look good on the porch at Christmas time. Okay, I am going to keep this in my cart because this little baby sells for about 40 bucks. So I'll pay eight bucks for it. I'll do that flip. I missed this guy in my first run through. He's a little chalkware fish. And he is half price, so he's only a dollar fifty now. He does he does have some dings. He does have a little couple little boo-boos, but it's the perfect kind of item for me to make sure does not end up in the landfill, so I'm gonna pick him up. Okay, I'm kind of enamored by this. It is $7.99 though. Oh, what to do? Because I really like it. Just says Killer Whale. It's from Japan. Is she girl? Oh, you know what? I kind of have to have it. Okay, I'm grabbing that. That would have been a good buy um, had it not been 20 bucks. At 20 bucks, I can't do it. It's just a big marble orb <laughs> and it's big and heavy um but these these can sell for some pretty good money um but i don't want to lock up twenty dollars buying it all right i'm scanning through the art here's i don't even know what to say about this it's like um it's these are wood like decoupage with some heavy like lacquer stuff over <laughs> I don't know that's different <laughs> and I found these these are original paintings and they've been professionally framed at Michael's because the receipt and stuff is all in the back they are signed they've got all of this Kenny Lucy Lousy Kenny Lousy I may do just a little quick research they got a little bit of age um not a ton of age but they got some age you can tell that by the discoloration of the canvas i mean somebody spent a lot of money framing these and they're kind of pretty and they're well done they're 10 bucks each though so i'm gonna make sure that i can get at least 30 plus for each one of these all right it is time to go check out with my little cart full of stuff. Not so bad. I think I did good. I, I think I was pretty disciplined this time. 
Got some cool stuff. Got some fun stuff. I got one piece of art for my bedroom. And then I picked up those paintings, which those are intriguing. We're going to dig into those a little bit more. Might need to do a live haul so I can really talk about those. That might be coming up soon. Okay, I'm going to go check out. unbelievable to me just how much Christmas stuff the Goodwills have stocked up and um, the, the, they're just exploding with Christmas. And let me know if you're getting tired of the Christmas footage. I mean, I get a little tired of it, but I'm hoping that I'm just going to find some of those amazing treasures mixed in with kind of all the stuff that we see at every single Goodwill. So it's a treasure hunt. Christmas treasure hunt. And I am going to do a Christmas in July sale in a couple of weeks. The last Friday of July. Set your calendars. You don't want to miss it. I mean, or maybe you do. It's up to you. <laughs> All right. So for now, got to get back home, process stuff in, get stuff listed for sale as quickly as I can. So you go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.